Hey, what's going on, everybody? Game Geezer here. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, and uh, that's just because I've been busy at work. And uh, for those of you that may or may not know, I'm a truck driver, so when I'm gone, that's it. I'm gone. No internet, no computer, none of that fun stuff. It's just me, my truck, and my cell phone. So, um, kind of stops me from making these videos, but when I am here, I try to make some before I have to go back out. And um, anyway, so to get to the topic of this video, um, I had a question that was basically addressed to me, and it was about the M.2 slots. And the question was, does it take up some of your PCI lanes? And it's a pretty good question because when you go in the BIOS, um, and you're in the BIOS, it'll ask you, hey, do you want to use a uh, times 2 or a times 4 on your M.2? Um, which kind of makes you believe that, hey, it's going to use two or four of my uh, my lanes here. And if you're like me and you got a 7700K and you're only working with 16, it kind of makes you worry because if you have one graphics card in there running at times 16, and then you add another graphics card, you're already at times 8 and times 8, and then you're like, well, I wanted to add an M.2, so what's going to happen with those other lanes? Like... I only have 16, so is one card going to be times 8 and one's going to be like times 4 and then another times 4? No, that's not going to happen. So basically to answer your question, M.2s, depending on your motherboard manufacturer and how they set it up, do not take away from your um, processing lanes. Those lanes are dedicated to your times 16s and your times 8 multiplier slots. So for example, on my board here, I will I could have one card at times 16, um, but later I do want to add another card, so it would drop them down to both times 8. And I currently have an M.2. Now that is not going to take away from the graphics cards, because basically the way the board is set up, what's going to happen is um, the board comes with its own amount of lanes that you're going to get to spend on other things. And um, basically, basically, it's kind of confusing because nobody's really clear about it, what happens with these lanes, because everyone's still, you know, in the thought that it all revolves around the CPU, and that's the lanes you're going to get. But that's not how it works. Um, in the BIOS on my ASUS board, I have an ASUS uh, Z270 formula. And um, when I go into BIOS and I change my um, M.2 from a times 2 multiplier to a times 4, um, there is a trade-off, um, and on my particular board, the trade-off for me is that my some of my SATA ports are going to be disabled. Um, now, it'll tell you in the BIOS in there, every time you trade something off for more performance, um, what you're going to lose, um, because you are going to disable certain things on your board to have more bandwidth to that thing. So, um, But it, it is nice to know that it's not taking away... Um, from the graphics uh, performance from my times 8 or times 16 slots. So um, that's basically that. That's just to sum it up for you. Um, there will be a trade off, but um, like in my case, I only have an M.2. I don't have anything running to SATA or any of that stuff. So leaving my M.2 at times 4 was fine. I don't mind sacrificing some um, SATA ports because I don't use them anyways. Honestly, if, if they didn't. Um, even have any on this board, it would be fine with me because I just don't use it. Um, because it, my personal rig is all about performance, and right now that's that's M.2, so I don't have any any kind of mechanical drive in my system whatsoever. Nothing with SATA, none of that stuff. So, um, anyways, um, yeah. So basically, every board's a little different. You have to look into it, but it gives you a certain amount of lanes that you can spend for the. Um, for some of the basic slots like M.2 and you know like PCI 1 slots and all that stuff and um, yeah so it just it just depends on the board who made the board but um, in most modern boards today um, it's um, the only two slots that are going to take from your processor are going to be your graphics card slots and um, the rest are just going to revolve around the board and um, you just have to do some reading in your own BIOS system and just basically, if you want more performance on something, you have to read what the trade-off is going to be. Because I think on my secondary M.2 slot, 
if I change it from times two to times four, it disables one or two of my um, extra PCI slots that I have in there for other things, which is fine because I don't really use those either, but if you're going to need like a sound card or extra, I don't know, maybe a capture card or something in there, just whatever it is, uh, maybe a wireless chip, um, you don't have to read on that. Make sure that you don't um, take away from that um, by increasing your multiplier on that. So just double check that and uh, everything should be good. So there you have it. Um, this basically sums it up for you that um, PCI lanes are not as important as they used to be and you don't have to worry as much about them anymore because you're going to get plenty that are going to be dedicated from your CPU just to your graphics card and then the other ones you can spend are going to just take away from the motherboard lanes. So um, if I leave everything at times two then um, I can have all the slots filled but I like to have my own dot two at times uh, times four. Uh, I don't really notice a difference in speed but um, there is a slight difference so I leave it at times four and um, all I had to trade off for that setting was just a couple of SATA ports. So um, just look into it on your own personal board, but basically just to sum it up, no. The answer is no. Um, M.2 is not going to take away any of your CPU PCI lanes. Um, so there you have it. Simply answered, thrown out right there. You don't have to look around because you're going to get some mixed reviews, mixed answers. Um, and maybe that answer used to be correct back in the day. It would have been different, but as far as the modern stuff goes, um, the board comes with its own amount of lanes to spend, and then your CPU has a certain amount to spend on your graphics. So um, that's kind of what makes the 7700K work, because you only get 16, and when you think about it, it's like, how are you going to use, um, you know, two graphics cards in SLI, which ASUS advertises, plus use any of the other slots or M.2 slots, it just seems impossible unless you're just gonna have just one card and not use anything else um, but that's why that's because it's just not set up that way it's set up to where the board has a certain amount to spend and then the graphics cards are linked with the CPU lanes and that's pretty much how it works so basically to uh, to sum it up there um, you actually have more lanes than you than you probably think um, because you actually have two different types of lanes so you have CPU lanes and you have chipset lanes. So you have a certain amount to spend on your motherboard and you have a certain amount to spend um, with your CPU. Now, um, when you're thinking that, when you realize this, that you have more than you imagine, you're like, well, that's great because now it's like you've gotten these secret lanes that you didn't know you even had from your motherboard manufacturer. Now, the downside of that is, is any lanes that occupy the motherboard that don't run off of CPU lanes have a maximum of times four. So anything between a multiplier of one and four is what they can be, you know, running at. Um, for my board, it's everything seems to run at times two or times four, and that's that's it. Um, so when you have more CPU lanes to spend, it's good for you because those can go as high as sixteen. Um, so that's what the big deal is on the CPU lanes. They're just faster. But um, in a normal average setup, um, like mine here, you know, even if I wanted SLI, which at some point I will, I have, you know, I can have multipliers of eight on each GPU, and everything else that runs on the chipset can be at times two or four, which uh, for me would be times four, because I don't mind sacrificing certain little things on there. So. That's enough for me to be happy with, and um, yeah, so just keep that in mind. Um, there's a lot of people who are misinformed, but you actually have CPU lanes and you have motherboard lanes. So um, next time you're scoping a system build out, you can also factor in that what uh, whatever board you pick out is going to have a number of lanes to spend as well as your CPU. And um, I feel like one of the reasons that's kind of hidden is because they want you to think that you need more cores, you need more threads, you need more lanes. And um, you really don't. Honestly, a simple build like what I have 
with my 7700K is plenty of power. It's it's overkill already. I mean, if you're going to go with a build, uh, like a new build, I guess you could um, give yourself a little future-proofing with the, uh, like, a X299 setup. And you can put, like, a 7740K in there, or X. I don't remember. Um, and that'll basically be, like, what I have. You'll have the... You know, basically you'll have a 7700K and you'll have plenty of room to upgrade if you decide that for some reason you need more cores or more lanes or whatever it is that you want. Um, but I would start off with something like what I have because, I mean, it's perfect for the current time um, of making this video. So, um, anyways guys, I hope that clears everything up for you. Just keep that in mind. Um, you have two different types of lanes, CPU and chipset lanes. So um, as long as you keep that in mind, you'll be good to go. Um, every board is different, so it just depends on your board manufacturer. I always go with Asus. Um, it's just a preference thing. I'm sure a lot of the other board manufacturers are good, like MSI and Gigabyte and ASRock and whatever. But um, I've just been building stuff with Asus boards for a long time, basically since I started building computers. So I'm kind of loyal to them, and they've always given me some great hardware, so um, anytime I do a video, it'll probably be with their stuff, because, you know, I buy my own stuff, and if I'm going to buy it, then I'm going to buy their stuff. But uh, anyways, guys, have a good one.